shit. What is packing with you, YouTube? Making all rounds for the holiday season. Shopping. Anyway, man, happy holidays. I hope you're having a safe holidays out there, especially while you are shopping. Make sure you are watching your surroundings. <laughs> um, there are a lot of less fortunate people out here who are having a bad time this time of the year and we just need to be careful um, you know what let me uh change this hat man put on another championship hat this one to the side oh my god all this traffic well, while we um celebrating or relaxing on a bye week, being the top dogs of the division once again. Um, just hope that the team rest up, get healthy, and come back ready to play against the Chicago Bears next week. Um, one of the biggest concerns will be the health of Aaron Rodgers' broken toe. Um, so, this is a chance for him to go through a short healing process. But I think he'll be uh, good to go next week, ready to rock and roll. See that? See that? See that? Championship. Super Bowl 45, baby. I shouldn't even. I'm supposed to be out shopping for my girl and my parents, and I'm, I'm buying shit for myself. But yeah, that's one of the biggest concerns. Um, of course, those who are are paying attention to Instagram, the Packer uh, players follow some of them. Sedarius Smith gave an indication that it look like, it looks like he might be back to play next week, to show up next week against the Chicago Bears and Andy Dalton. Another concern too is you know we want these guys to come back next week without next week without having any type of COVID news popping up. Um, we don't need we don't got time for that. that. The last thing we need to be hearing is Matt Lafleur caught COVID nineteen or some BS man um, before a crucial game and he won't be able to be there on the sidelines to coach. So you know I'm, let's just knock on let's knock on leather. How about that? Let's knock on leather. That we won't run into that situation like the Cowboys. And should we run into that situation this year with Joe Barry not being able to? Um, but the defense showed up and showed out and performed at a high level without him being there. So, you know, we'll never know. But um, needless to say, man, let's just get back next week in practice. Um, keep the momentum going, keep the morale high, um, keep guys encouraged, uplift one another, do whatever the hell y'all got to do because, you know, a lot of people are starting to put money in on the Packers to make it to the Super Bowl. I haven't yet, you know what I'm saying? I still got to see some things, um, especially when it comes to the playoff picture, you know, who we might have to face or who, who might have to come see us or who we might have to go see, so... It's a lot of football left. It's a whole lot of football left. Um, you know, a lot of teams are starting to make some noise, especially in the NFC with the 49ers starting to show up. Um, the Washington Redskins, the Washington football team, Start to play better. 
Um, so you got some teams that's gonna uh, that's gonna get out here and compete and fight for a spot to have a shot at getting to the big dance. And now I heard what Dan Campbell said. You know, we're gonna try to spoil some people's fun out here. That's winning. We might have to try to spoil. We have to call some spoilers out here. <laughs> we don't listen to cry babies. That's what we don't listen to. We don't listen to dudes that cry. Cry because you're losing. You know what you was getting yourself into when you took that job with the Lions? Come on, man. Let's stop being naive and stupid. We don't have to spoil some people. You had all season to spoil some people. Now you want to start spoiling people at this point of the season when you 0-10-1 or whatever the hell record y'all are. Y'all ain't won a damn game. Cut the nonsense out. Dan Campbell. Cut it out. We'll have to go out here and start spoiling. Spoiling some of these guys from these puppies' tapes. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, my God, man. Oh, I got to have to find a new tight end because TJ Hokerson is hurt. And I'm 9-2. and two. In my fantasy league. I didn't like the way Zeke performed this past game. I kind of, I think I might have, I think I might have, I think I'm going to lose this week. I'll end up being 9-3, and three, but that's all good. We still going to win the damn Super Bowl and get that damn money because everybody else look like a bunch of losers in this league. I'm about to take all that money from y'all. Take all of it and win the trophy. I still got to get my other trophy. This will be my what? This will be my third in a row, third fantasy league championship in a row. That's what we fighting for to make some adjustments, man. I should have kept James Conner, man. But anyway, um... Let's just get these boys healthy. I know Randall Cobb got the groin injury, who has been a, a huge asset in this offense. And it goes to show that the Packers made the right decision by bringing that man back to Green Bay, where he shouldn't have never fucking left. Um, so that was a point. That was a huge point proven by Aaron Rodgers, that the Packers shouldn't have never let him go. They shouldn't have never let go Jordy Nelson either. But, oh shit, I'm on the right freeway. I'm going, I'm taking the wrong way home. But for the most part, this, this, this bye week is very vital to the offensive line. Um, without having uh, David Bakhtiari and, you know, losing Elton Jenkins, and this offensive line st still being able to stop defensive line and, and blitzing and linebackers from getting to Aaron Rodgers is fit. I mean, you gotta take your hat off to, to Brian Gutenkunz for, for putting this offensive line together. You know what I'm saying? You gotta give him a lot of credit, man. Gods to give him a lot of credit for that. Know, these guys are young, young stepping up, stepping in and stepping up, playing like veterans, playing like they already in their prime. And if you will be a fool, if you will be a fool to let Aaron Rodgers go to another team with this offensive line that's making it, that's 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 helping out guys like AJ Dillon have a, a great season. He's still able without box to, without without David without DB or Elton Jenkins. You still got Aaron Jones still able to make big plays happen out of the backfield. What can you say, man? What can you say? Aaron Rodgers is back. You know. Like, 
back in the MVP lead, right, leading the MVP race again. So, can't complain, man. Can't complain. Can't complain about anything that Brian Gutenkunz as the GM has, you know, what he's done in the, in, in, in the last few years is, you know, taking over. Still sticking to the core, core uh, uh, Ted Thompson values of draft and development, and still exceeding in that aspect as well too. Developing guys. I mean, the receiving receiving part hasn't came along like we would have liked to, but as far as the you know developing the defensive guys, you know you, you can't go wrong there. Developing the off, young offensive line, you can't go wrong there. Um, Develop in the tight end position, you can't go wrong there. I mean, you got to give this training staff and this coaching staff high marks for what they've done. Since Matt LaFleur has been the head coach of the Green Bay Packers. Now, I told y'all that the Packers... We're not gonna go go after big time, big time names like like the. I mean, well, we will. We'll put our hat. We'll put our name in a hat just to throw some interest out there. But it don't necessarily mean we're gonna get those players. Like I said, it, 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 with Aaron Rodgers, you're gonna get guys that's entering into their prime. You know, uh, guys that that that. That are just masters in those skill sets that they need them in. Um, guys that you know trying to fight for a, a, a big time contract. Those are the guys that that the Packers are gonna go after. They're gonna go after the the the, the high potential guys. Guys that got show a lot of potential, and then all of a sudden you starting to see them spark. Like Rashawn Gary. You can even say Zadarius Smith, Preston Smith. You know guys that were good on the teams that they played on just just didn't get a lot of recognition like Preston Smith. Probably the best defender that was over there with the football team. Let's go get that guy. He he, he flashes on if we put him pair these put these guys together. Now you have a defense, defensive line, de, you know, drafting drafting the guys that, you know, fit into the scheme. And then you bring a guy over here like Joe Barry, that note that's been to the Super Bowl and and coached a defense in the Super Bowl and held a team to 13 points in the Super Bowl. You got to go get a guy like that when you got a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers that can put over more than 13 points. So I see this all starting to come together as I mean as I watch this team from year to year to year, week to week to week, month to month to month, and just you know seeing how the Green Bay Packers go about the business of, you know, putting the right guys together. You don't really see teams out there trying to put the right group of guys together that are going, that are going to gel together and, you know, play as a unit. Now, the biggest thing that has been affecting this defense has been the injuries. I mean, you can say that about every team. But with the Packers... It's been basically the injuries, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, you know, guys getting hurt, but um, I think the bye week came at, at, a, at a good time. You know, we, we start getting some of our guys back. I don't know the status of Jair. Maybe he'll play against the Bears. Maybe he won't. Um, I do expect to see Zadarius Smith out there on the field next week on a limited snap count. Um Who knows? He might not even play. He might not even play. He might not even play. I mean, we'll, 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 we'll have, they'll have to evaluate him and practice next week, and see where his status is. Um, but you know, I'm gonna go with uh, uh, until 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 we know his his uh, practice status or how many times if he's limited, if he didn't practice, things like that. Especially with Randall Cobb too. You know, Randall Cobb, Cobb might have a day or two in there where you know he, they might give him give him some rest a rest day 
veteran rest day just to rest up his groin uh, so he can be, you know, uh, good to go um, for Sunday against the Bears because we already know Randall Cobb is the bear killer. <laughs> That's one thing we do know. Randall Cobb is the bear killer. Uh, I forget how many touchdowns he has against the Bears. I think it's probably close to the double digits. Last time I seen he had eight. Eight touchdowns against the Bears um, within, uh, I think, the last few years he played with the Packers. So, you know, he might be reaching into the, he might be reaching into double digits. Stat me, that for some, for me, somebody. Um, so I'm excited to see uh, how healthy this team will finish out the season. Um, where we will end up in a playoff picture because this is a new playoff uh, playoff uh, format. You know, only one team get, get only one team get a bye, get the bye week. Everybody else got to play. Um, so we get to kick back this week, rest up, kick our feet up, and watch everybody else uh, go out there and. Uh, play their hearts out and win and uh, we get to see what we need to do in order to finish out the rest of the season to put ourselves back at the top spot where we belong and bringing back that damn Lombardi to his rightful owner us, the blueprint of Super Bowls, the Green Bay Packers Go Pack, Go I'm Out